tomorrow, including one that would target an accessory used in last month's mass shooting at that Boulder's King Super. What about the accessory of the judge who made the guns available? What about charging that accessory? He joins us live from the newsroom with those details. Kagan? Yeah, President Biden set to unveil a total of six executive actions aimed at curbing gun violence following a string of mass shootings over the past three weeks, including the shootings in Boulder. The first action will direct the Justice Department to propose a rule within the next 30 days aimed at reining in so-called ghost guns, meaning guns assembled by the purchaser, but no specific details of that rule have been released just yet. Among the other orders, a proposed rule tightening regulations on pistol stabilizing braces, like the one used by that shooter in Boulder. The rule would reclassify pistols that have those stabilizing braces as short-barreled rifles, which require a federal license to own and are subject to much more thorough applications and also a $200 tax. The Boulder sh shooting suspect's gun looked like a rifle, but is currently classified as a pistol, which experts worry is helping some people skirt gun laws. Now, the Justice Department will also publish red flag legislation within 60 days, which the Biden administration says will make it easier for all states to adopt red flag laws. Colorado, of course, already has a red flag law, which allows a judge to temporarily remove someone's firearms if they're deemed a danger to themselves or others. Of course, the, these... Yeah, but how do we remove a, a judge who's a danger? Republicans specifically, we'll have more on that. Tonight at 10. Kagan Like that judge who let that no way, mass murderer Kagan, get you. those guns to kill that cop and those nine citizens. The mass shooting was remembered in a celebration of life ceremony. It's now been more than two weeks since that horrible mass shooting.